And finally, more discontent is brewing between members of Congress and the top secret House Intelligence Committee, one of the gatekeepers of the national security state's secrets. Speaking at the Liberty Political Action Conference, Congressman Justin Amash retold a story about something that happened to him in August when he and other colleagues were trying to access a national security document from the House Intelligence Committee. According to Amash, rather than notifying members through the proper channels that the document would be available for viewing, the House Intel Committee instead sent out a mass email via the cluttered, spam-filled e-dear colleague system. So they said, okay, we'll make this document available to you, but we're not really going to give notice to anyone. They sent it through the Dear Colleague system. This is a system uh, that, it's almost like a spam folder, frankly. Uh, not everyone in Congress has signed up to it. And basically it's a system where you um, send letters to your colleagues about different issues. Will you co-sponsor my bill? Will you sign my letter? That kind of thing. Normally if you're getting uh, information about an upcoming briefing or an upcoming uh, document that's going to be available to members of Congress, uh, you would get an email. An email, a normal email would come to you, to all members of Congress, saying, hey, there's a document that's going to be available. Come stop by. But no, we got it through the Dear Colleague system. So basically, the House Intel Committee wants to notify members of document disclosures in the same way that your crazy aunt wants to notify you about chain emails that you have to forward to 10 people or else a cat dies or something. Not only that, the document was made available with less than a 24-hour notice on a Friday, just before Congress was set to go on a five-week recess. And anyone who knows Capitol Hill knows that on a Friday before recess, the place is a ghost town. Members are on jets flying back home. So naturally, the House Intel Committee, which has been dogged by criticism for its reclusivity and penchant for secrecy, chose that Friday as the ideal day to make this disclosure. And for those lucky members who did stumble into their ear e dear colleague spam folder that day and found out about it, well, hopefully they forward the email to 10 people, you know, for good luck.